today we are making the butcher block countertop for the camper I am over the moon just so ready for this project to be done because I feel like it's really gonna change the whole look of the camper and I just want to see my vision come to life like I am so excited to finally just have this project done so before we get into the video there are um, just a few different like projects kind of in this video such as we are making a butcher block countertop um, I'm going to stain the countertop and possibly install it. I'm not sure yet, depending on Connor's work schedule. So I'm going to leave a little timestamp here. I'm sure there's some of you guys who are coming to this video just wanting to learn how to build the countertop. You don't really care about the other stuff. So I just kind of want to leave this all here. Maybe you guys just want to learn how to stain the countertop. Whatever it is, you guys can just follow the timestamps if you don't want to watch everything. So let's go get started. So here's what you'll need for the countertops, wood obviously, um, that's pretty much a no brainer, but there are a lot of different types of wood that you could use. Um, here are some really durable pieces of wood I have listed on the screen. We just opted to use um, basic wood from the lumber store. We just used two by six by eights. Um, because this is for our camper, we have made a butcher block before out of this material and it's actually held up really well. But I do recommend if you are using this for a kitchen that's going to be getting a lot of use, definitely use one of those woods that I have listed below. Um, this project in total cost about $100. I think it was a little bit under. Also, here's Wilbur because you guys ask for him in every video. So here's a little montage of him. Um, but like I mentioned before, this is just for our camper. We're not going to be using the kitchen a ton. So we figured we would just go the cheaper route. Um, so we cut a quarter inch off of each, each piece of wood of the sides just to make sure that everything was even. And then we cut the wood in half. So we were left with 16 pieces that look like this. Next that we're doing is lining up each piece of wood exactly how we want it. Um, we just checked each side to see which grain looked prettier and what looked better and we just kind of went from there. We're also sanding each side of the wood just to ensure that everything is flat and even. So here's what it looks like all set up. Now we're just gonna take some glue. So we use Gorilla Wood Glue and we also use the Elmer's Wood Glue. The Elmer's Wood Glue definitely performed better than the Gorilla Wood Glue, so I'd recommend just using the Elmer's one. Um, so I'm just taking a paintbrush and just layering, or not layering it, but just going over it just so everything is even. So as you guys can see here, after we put the um, glue on, we just set it back up and push the pieces together. So now we're clamping all of the pieces together and we have this piece of wood as a barrier to protect the butcher block because if you put the clamps directly onto the butcher block, it will leave an indentation. So here's what it's gonna look like. It will look a little messy because this glue will be popping out and the pieces of wood will be kind of up and down and not very even, which is totally normal, so don't worry about it. So one week later, we are taking um, our sander and we're going opposite grain of the wood. And as you guys can see, it instantly just evens everything out. It is so satisfying to watch this. You definitely don't have to wait a full week to sand all this down. You can just wait until it's dry, but we just didn't really have the time to go back in and do this, so that's why we waited a week. So here you guys can see what it looks like once it's sanded and then over here it's what it looks like before it's sanded. So if your countertop looks like this, don't worry and freak out that you did something wrong. It's just that it needs to be sanded down. So I really love doing this project. This was actually Connor's idea. A few of the YouTubers that he watches have done this so he really wanted to do this for the camper so I kind of let him take over this project. So this is the old counter and we're gonna put this on top of the butcher block as a guide um, of where to cut. So I'm just gonna put this over here. As I mentioned, we were lucky enough to have this piece as a template. We did um, measure everything again just to double check. 
Um, this is probably my biggest tip is make sure you measure this part so precisely because you don't want to cut out the spot for the stove too big and then you have this huge gap. It's definitely fixable. You could probably just put like some sort of like decorative piece of wood there but if it's not what you want to do then I would recommend just making sure you measure everything um, probably five times just to make sure. And here's a little tip from Connor. He recommends setting up a T-square with some clamps. That way, if you're just using a hand saw like this, um, it's easy to have straight lines and you don't have to worry about it not being even. This part was really exciting, cutting out the spot for the sink and for the stove and oven. That was really awesome to see everything um, cut out. And I recommend not throwing out this excess wood. There's so much you can do with it. You could make your own um, like cutting boards. You could make wall art. There's so many different things you could do with it. If you're making this for your camper, you can actually use this sink cutout and then just kind of carve out underneath it. And then you can place it on top of your sink. I don't know if I'm making sense at all, but I think if you guys are camping, Camper owners, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes sinks and campers will have like an additional piece of countertop on top of it that can be removable. That way it's extra space for you to use as cutting board or whatever you want to use it for. Um, luckily, luck, luckily, wow, this is going downhill fast. Um, luckily, our camper has a lot of counter space, so we're not really worried about that, but we did save the wood to make something else out of, which you guys will see in a little bit. So our last step for this portion of it is to sand the countertop down. Once you clamp all the pieces of wood together, there will be glue that kind of squeezes and oozes out of it. So you just want to sand all of that off. The countertop is officially done. It's now time to move this over to the camper. So we have to put this into Connor's truck. I am so afraid for this section. I feel like this section could totally just snap off in the truck so I might have to sit in the truck bed or something while we do this. We'll just see what happens I guess. Even Willie looks scared. He's looking in the window like oh no. What's happening? So I think I'm just gonna sit in the back of the truck while he drives. I'm kind of nervous though. Um, it's like literally the street over from us where the camper is, is just at my parents' house. But the, there's like so much stuff in this truck that doesn't fit. And if we don't, if like if I don't sit back here, it's gonna fall out or like fall over. So I think we're gonna sit here, but I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Two seconds later, I we even made it to my parents' house. Back and up to the camper. All right, here's what she looks like. How do you feel? I'm over it. <laughs> We've been doing this for at least like two months, just on and off, so we're very over this project. But I think it looks two really. Months. We started this in March. It's July. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> It obviously doesn't look like amazing right now because I still need to stain it. And then we have to put, this is where the sink goes. This is where the stove top and oven go. Um, but we can already tell it's going to look so good. It's just kind of hard to like get the full vision with all these holes in it, but I'm very happy. All right. Is Here's, filming? Yes. I'm so scared. This isn't going to fit. Is this right? <gasps> Did it stick out like that before? Did I do I have this backwards? Like sideways? No. I guess it is the way it goes. So I guess it sticks out a little. I could cut it. 
Or did it? I think it did. I don't know. No. no. I'll get a bit of the other way and we'll just trim it a hair. Just trim it a little, but it pulls out. Probably never use this. Nope. <laughs> I didn't have your face in this at all. It's okay. So here's where we were able to use the excess piece of wood from the sink. Um, our camper has this really cool feature. And as you guys saw, it's like a little island that pops out and it's extra space to cut. If you guys don't have this in your camper, I would definitely recommend just adding this in. You could usually just take out like one of the um, drawers and just add this in. But anyway, I just sanded the wood down to the size that we needed it to be. And then I just took this clear polyurethane and went over it and ta-da, it was all done. Super simple and easy and I just love how it looks. What I'm gonna do now is stain the countertop, but first I need to open up all the windows. It is so hot in here. I'm a little nervous though because, sorry, this is an awkward angle, but there's actually like a bee's nest right outside of this window. So I'm just like hoping that the bees don't get in. I just don't want to spray them because I feel really bad. Sorry, awkward angles. I feel like I always have awkward angles. Oh, so much better. It's a really hot day today. It's like 90 something. If you guys remember the video where I did the bunk, it was so hot and I thought I was going to faint. Connor basically told me not to come and do the camper today because he was like, you will probably faint because it's hotter than a day that you almost did. But I just really want to get this done because I'm so excited to see what it looks like. So we're going to take the chance and hopefully we'll be okay. But let me show you guys. Um, just again like a little overview of what the counter looks like and then we're gonna start staining. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I have a couple fans going in the back because it is just so hot in here. So this is what our countertop looks like. I am so happy with how it came out. So now it's time to stain it. So I'm gonna show you guys the products I'm gonna be using. So I decided that I really like the wood just kind of like a natural color. I didn't want to stain it too dark or um, anything like that because I feel like the camper just has so much going on. It doesn't really need another statement So what I'm gonna do is just take this fast drying polyurethane and I have this in the color clear satin and Along with that. I'm just taking an oil stain um, paintbrush and we're basically just going to paint this on. You don't rub this off or anything like that um, And this is a really fast drying one. I use this one um, on the countertops in our house and it went so quickly so pretty much after I like paint this part um, and then do the other side this should be dry and almost ready for another coat um, you obviously want to make sure it's like fully dry but it does dry very quickly before we do that I'm just gonna put some tape um, around the areas I just want to make sure don't get any paint on it like the tile um, if you guys haven't seen this video is a peel and stick tile I did and then of course for safety we are going to be wearing one of these masks because this stuff can be very dangerous if you inhale it and also it's really hot like I said a thousand times so we don't want the fumes to get to my head I already have enough issues so we don't need any more so basically let's just cut to the time lapse of this So as you guys will be able to see, this stain is kind of like an amber color almost. It is clear, but technically it's kind of like an amber color. So when you do apply this to your countertop, it will just help to enhance the wood. It's not gonna stay this like almost white um, color. So if you are going for that whitewashed wood, you could get, um, they have like a stain called like pickled white and pickled something else. Um, and it looks very white. So you guys could definitely do that and then just put a clear coat over it and it would help to give you that look. Um, another tip that I really recommend for this is when you're painting the countertop, 
Um, the stain will definitely drip to the side. So you want to actively make sure that you are wiping the stain away because it will leave streak marks. So here's just a little glimpse of what it looked like before the stain and after the stain. And then here's a little close up of it. So here's what it looks like with one layer of stain on it. It does look a little blotchy, but again, that's completely normal. So what I'm doing now is taking grade zero zero of steel wool, and I'm just going over the countertop, and there will be some spots on it just from the stain and whatnot that may feel like a little rough. So once you go over it with the steel wool, it's gonna feel so smooth and great. And this is why sanding in between coats is so important. They usually recommend recommend using a sandpaper of 220 grit um, but again the steel wool is completely fine to use and please don't skip this step because it will make such a huge difference on your counter so for the video I have four layers of stain on it but I actually think I'm gonna go back to the camper maybe after this and put another two layers of stain on maybe even more just to give it a really high gloss look so here is what the finished product looks like. And of course we don't have the sink and stove in it, but you guys will see that in the kitchen makeover video. But let's just soak in the beauty of this countertop. We are finally done with this countertop. How do you feel now that it's done? Satisfied. So satisfied, right? Yeah. <laughs> this feels really good to finally be done. We weren't able to install it because I need Connor's help for that. Um, and also I think when we install it, I'll probably put that in like the whole kitchen makeover video and then we'll put the stove in it and the sink and all that fun stuff. You guys can really see it come to life. And it's gonna look so much better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And if you guys do try this out, definitely tag me in your pictures. And also keep tagging me in all of your camper pictures because I love seeing all of your campers. They are just so cool looking and it gives me so many fun ideas. Hope you guys are having a safe, happy, and great day. <laughs> like, yeah, Connor, I'm trying to think of another word. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.